In this Power Mill Quick Tip video, we're going to take a look at how we can vastly improve surface finish on a 3D toolpath by using something called the Mesh Factor Control. Now, I have on my screen what looks to be a pretty decent 3D offset toolpath, and this would machine a fairly decent finish given the step over value with the tool. However, if I zoom in on the toolpath, what we can see is there's some areas of the surface shining through. Well, this has to do with both the point-to-point -point tolerance of the surface and as well as a feature called the mesh factor. This feature is actually located within the toolpath settings. Underneath the point distribution, if I hit recycle, what we'll see is we'll see this mesh factor option. Now, to display this mesh factor is a little bit of a hidden secret within PowerMill. So if I go up to my View tab, and if I go into my Appearances, and I click this little box, you'll see my View Appearances fly out. This kind of controls how lines and surfaces look within PowerMill. The secret here is to hit the Control and the Tab button. And you'll see that a hidden menu pops up, and this hidden menu is the gives you the capability to show what the mesh factor looks like. And if I hit this Draw Triangles, that adds the mesh of the toolpath to the actual part. Now, if I turn my toolpath off and I turn my part off, I get a better view of just that mesh together. This is actually the geometry that puts together the toolpath itself. And we can control this within PowerMill. Now, if I zoom in here, what we'll see is we'll see the faceting and the ribbons between each um, mesh node that's going to create, the, that helps create the toolpath itself. You'll see kind of the distance here, and I want you to kind of take a mental image of this and see what this looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get go ahead and duplicate this toolpath. I'll turn that off and turn my part back on. I'll hit cancel to this, and I will duplicate this toolpath. Within the copy of my toolpath, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll change that mesh factor. Recycle the toolpath. Once again, go to my point distribution, and I'm going to change this to something very fine. I'm going to go to like 0.2, and I'm going to recalculate the toolpath. Now, what we'll first see is that we no longer have the surface poking through. We've smoothed the curve out to the toolpath within this region, and that's going to give us a much, much better surface finish. Now, to demonstrate this in further, and what we can see is we'll go back to that view icon, pull up our model drawing options menu, control tab once again, once again, we'll turn on that mesh factor. And the mesh factor itself is much tighter for that toolpath. This will give you the better surface finish results and help with cosmetic surfaces or surface callouts on parts. Thank you for watching this quick tip video. I hope you've enjoyed it.